this problem is asking us to take a look at a molecular view of thermodynamics. Part B is asking us to classify each mixture by what it indicates about delta G naught, K, and natural log of K for the reaction at standard conditions. Let's review K, or the equilibrium constant. We can relate K, or the equilibrium constant, to the variable Q. Q is the ratio of product concentration to reactant concentration. If the product concentration and the reactant concentration are the same, the value of Q becomes 1. If Q is 1, then the equilibrium constant at this point will be 1 as well. If we have an excess amount of concentration of product, what ends up happening is the denominator of this equation becomes relatively high compared to the concentration of the reactants. Given this, the equilibrium constant K will be less than 1. If the product concentration is less than the reactant concentration, given Q is equal to K, the equilibrium constant will be greater than 1. We can relate this information here to the graphs here. As you can see, the, the concentration of product and reactant in this image here, in this mixture here, is the same. Therefore, K is equal to 1 here. In this mixture here, we can clearly see that the product is in greater concentration than the reactant. Therefore, for this mixture, mixture 3, K will be less than 1. For mixture 1, we can see that the relative concentration of the product here is less than the concentration of the reactants shown here. Therefore, for mixture 1, K will be greater than 1. In mixture 1, K is greater than 1. If we take the natural log of K, the answer to that would be a positive number or greater than 0. If we look at mixture 3, K is less than 1. If we go ahead and take the natural log of K, that would be less than 0 or a negative number. We can use the information that we have gathered thus far to determine delta G naught. The equation delta G naught here relates delta G naught and the natural log of K. Given that the natural log of K for mixture 1 will be positive, we can plug it into the equation to determine that delta G naught will be less than 0 or a negative value. We can repeat the process for mixture 2 and mixture 3. In this case, mixture 2, we have delta G naught will be 0. And for mixture 3, we have delta G naught will be greater than 0, or a positive value. What we can gather from observing mixture 1 is that the reactant concentration is high. Reaching equilibrium will only be achieved by shifting to the right, meaning that products will be favored. Mixture 2 is showing us that the forward movement and the reverse movement of the e reaction is equal. Mixture 3 is showing us that the product concentration is high. In order to reach equilibrium, the reaction must shift to the left, favoring the creation of the reactants.